Okay, so here's what we're gonna do today. Um, again, you know, I I don't know how different my channel is gonna be compared to some others, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna do the same type of reviews that everyone else does. So I, I figured what I do uh, is teach some differences in collecting. So at, what I've gathered here is some of my different types of figures. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the difference in collecting. So, you know, if you're a beginning collector, you know, there's some figures that I can show you that are a little bit on the, the cheaper side that you can collect um, that won't break the bank. If you're into higher end collectibles or if you're into statues, I can show you the difference uh, between all these figures. But I gather these specific figures uh, for a reason. Um, and I'm going to show you the comparisons and give you a little uh, hint at, at what each one costs. So uh, what we'll do is uh, I'll just kind of show you individual ones and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so what I have right now is I have uh, two figures. Um, both are of the TV show Supergirl from the CW. And um, as, if you're looking at them, you can see the difference between the two there is a definite um, difference. They're, they're not terribly different priced, uh, but uh, obviously one is better quality and, and one is not. So um, this particular figure right here, I bought um, from Walmart. It was uh, very inexpensive, I think around uh, $19 and some change. Uh, <clears throat> she, she's posable at her at her shoulders, um, she's posable at the neck, uh, she's posable at her elbows, a little bit at the hands, they pretty much just twist around, and then at the knees, and then of course at the ankle. Uh, oh, and of course she's also um, at the waist and the midsection of her abs, and she's also uh, flexible at her hips as well, so her legs move and whatnot. And I bought this figure originally, I'm, I, I, I was just amazed because this is uh, just a uh, DC Universe action figure. Uh, they come out on a regular basis, they're in Targets, they're in Toys R Us. Um, there's nothing particularly special uh, about them. Uh, they're not highly collectible because they're usually on the cheaper side of... Um, uh, figures and what I mean they're not as collectible it, it, it's just uh, you, you, this is the beginning if you want to start collecting uh, posable action figures this is where you would start right here uh, $20 sometimes you can get them cheaper on eBay or on um, on Amazon uh, but a great figure part of my collection um, absolutely love it love the TV series so I'm um, gonna focus now on this particular figure this one is a DC Direct um, Icons uh, type. It, it, it comes more directly from the DC uh, Studios more than it does uh, Mattel, which would this, would be similar to this one right here. This one, it, as you can see, is, in my opinion, much more accurate to the television series. You still have ankle joints, knee joints, hip joints, but as you can see, there's no midsection. Uh, to bend uh, or even to twist um, Her head is about as posable as the other figure, but her hands her elbows and her knees all have double joints Let's see if I can slip in there. You can kind of see how it, it, it the, the, It's like a kneecap on there versus this other one where it's just a straight bend and it gives you much more posability uh, with this figure she also comes with removable hands uh, in different posing. So I have one with a fist, uh, one with an open hand. There's actually uh, a couple different versions where she can actually hold something. Um, she can, you know, have different poses. Um, and this one costs between thirty and forty dollars. So you might be asking, well, what's the big difference? Uh, you know, I just when you look at the detail on this particular figure so much better uh, you you don't have paint lines you have more like fabric lines um her shoulder joints don't look like they're just a piece of plastic connected to another piece of plastic her facial sculpt is is much more detailed versus uh this one um and and don't get me wrong this one is probably the best uh 
version that I've seen come from the DC Universe as far as accuracy. Uh, they really did a nice job on this one, but uh, the S shield is better. Um, it's not as embellished. Her, like I said, her posability, her cape, in my opinion, flows better. The colors in her skirt and her, her cape are better. Her eyes and her face are better. <clears throat> so this is where you would start uh, collecting is in these type figures and they're very affordable they're very poseable um, this is how I started uh, kind of in my figures but I, I chose these two particular figures uh, I didn't know I was gonna buy this one I actually bought this one a, a long time ago when the series first came out and I absolutely love it uh, and I didn't really think that they were gonna make any others and they came out with this one I was in a comic book store and I saw it and I just had to make it part of the collection because it's so much better uh, than this one. And, and this is where collecting becomes personal. If you're okay with just spending your money on this, then there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I have a lot of figures in this type genre. Um, but for me, it was more important. In fact, if they ever come out with a hot toy version, and we'll get into that in a second, but a hot toy version or a... Um, uh, another company that does a very detailed 1-6 scale, I'm, I'm probably going to buy her as well. So uh, my, my obsession with collecting doesn't stop at just one figure. I, I look at all things that, that make it more uh, special. And, and uh, for me, special means more accurate to the look and the style. Okay, so here we are again. And this is uh, part two of this segment. And this is just showing the difference between... A Hot Toys, for example, and a statue. Um, again, it just depends on what you like to collect. Um, I I love uh, I love all things in this genre, but uh, I collected this one first. My wife bought this for me for Christmas, and this is the uh, it's a one six scale uh, Kabuto Kaya, um, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, one six scale statue from the Man of Steel movie and the only thing that's posable on this particular figure is the cape so the cape is cloth it's got a wire frame um, you can pose it however you want I, I posed it kind of in a wind uh, blowing kind of fashion it's got a great base uh, the, the Man of Steel logo a little bit of gold in there um, just great detail as you can see it's pretty accurate to the movie in my opinion um, but it is just a statue. That is the only pose that you'll get, and that cost about, uh, at least when it was first released, that cost about $100. I think you can still find it on eBay for around the same amount. Um, and uh, Kabutakaya makes a lot of figures that are just statues, um, different versions of, of, of characters you like, not just DC, but also Marvel. Um, but uh, that was my first one six scale figure right there, and and I loved it. And then I saw uh, a Man of Steel posable figure, and I'm and I, I talked my wife into letting me buy that. And eventually, it, it turned into this. So this is a hot toy. So you may have heard that phrase. Uh, they become they've been around for a long time since the early two thousands. Um, they make 1-6 scale collectible action figures and th the difference between this and this you might be saying is well they, they look the same um, the reality is is this is a posable figure this this pose that uh, that Superman is in right here is the pose that I put him in he has changeable hands so you can change him from flying different positions his, he's got some open hands um, his cape is also his, his whole outfit is cloth it's just it's absolutely fantastic the way his cape drapes um, you can have it kind of flowing it, it's not a posable cape like this one but this one's kind of more of a felt material uh, with wire in it and this one just kind of hangs there which is fine with me uh, detail on the boots and the costume are just fantastic if you look at the head sculpt I mean that is Henry Cavill <clears throat> now this figure um, straight from DC Direct, uh, it, you know, just one more thing on the, on the figure before we get into DC Direct. This figure, this is his ribs. This is not painted on. This is the sculpt underneath the costume. So you see the glare in his muscle 
Um, that is actually the figure itself. That is not the costume. Um, the costume is made to kind of reflect on that. So that is the detail underneath it. And you can see the texture <coughs> inside his costume. Uh, the S shield even has the, uh, even has the, uh, the Kryptonian writing in it. Uh, just absolutely fantastic. Uh, the muscle detail, the fist, de I mean, it's just a fantastic figure. And, uh, so, so, you know, some of my friends have asked me, well, what's the difference between that one and that one? They look the same. Well, like I said, this one's not posable and it's made by a different company. Also, I mean, they, they do great things, um, that, uh, Kabuto Kaya does, but uh, Hot Toys takes it to a new level. And this figure right here, um, brand new from, uh, Sideshow Collectibles, who's the manufacturer that ships these figures, um, this will cost you about 250 to, uh, 200 to $300, depending on how many accessories it, it, it comes with. Um, this particular Man of Steel came with a few things, including a big chunk of kryptonite that glows, uh, when you light it up. But, uh, I just wanted to show you the difference in price. So this one, uh, 250 to 300. Uh, I bought it for, I think, 266 and some change. Um, this one cost around $100. Um, and you could still buy both of those on eBay. This one right now on eBay goes for over $300 average. There, you can find them cheaper, but it's it's more rare. Once once they leave Hot Toys or Sideshow, they become more expensive online. So just be aware of that if you don't buy directly from the manufacturer themselves. So um, that is my difference between Kubutu Kaya and Hot Toys. And then I'm going to show you the difference in 1-6 scale with... Uh, Christopher Reeve Superman and uh, Terrence Stamps General Zod. All right, so next part of our, our segment today is just the difference between um, different figures and, and collectibles and whatnot. So there are some other manufacturers that you can get that are cheaper than Hot Toys. Hot Again, this Superman, I think, brand new, cost over $300. As you can see, it comes with an absolutely amazing base. I have him in a flying pose at the Fortress of Solitude. Um, that all comes with the figure. Again, multiple hands, posable cape, fabric. Um, just absolutely amazing. And then this one right here is just a uh, Mattel um, version of, of Terrence Stamp who played General Zod in Superman and Superman 2. And, you know, from a distance, they, they don't look, I mean, You'd think, okay, well, it's the same manufacturer, but I'm going to get a little bit closer and I'll show you the difference. So um, I put this picture, I have this in my office. As you can see, that is a picture of Christopher Reeves, and that is an absolutely fantastic picture of Christopher Reeves. I absolutely love that. Um, and then I'm going to zoom in to this hot toy, Christopher Reeve. That is an amazing representation of Christopher Reeves, just down to the detail on the boots, um, very flexible. Uh, the Fortress of Solitude crystals, absolutely love uh, to death. And then I'm gonna just get you close to Terrence Stamp here. You might think, well, I don't see that big a difference. Well, in person, the paint detail is just not as good. And if you look at a side by side picture, which unfortunately I don't have, you would see that this is just not even close to the detail in that face. There's just no comparison whatsoever. Um, another thing, not as poseable, you can see right there in his neck, he's got some plastic, uh, you know, where, where his head can go up and down. Um, not as detailed, whereas if you get close to Christopher Reeves, I mean, that looks like um, his, like a person was in a costume uh, his neck, the muscles, the tendons, all that type stuff inside that figure. Another thing, when you look at his hands, I mean, there's just no detail in, into his hands. Uh, getting a little bit close to Christopher Reeves there. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. There's veins inside of his hands. There's color texture, all that type stuff. So a lot, a lot more detail. Um, th there's also a difference in price. So obviously Hot Toy spends a lot of time detailing their figure. So again, right now, $350 to $400 for Christopher Reeves on eBay. You might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else, but 
not going to be very, very likely. Um, absolutely fantastic figure. But this one right here is just Mattel. And you can get this one on eBay right now for about 60 bucks. Um, not very posable. In fact, I had to play with it for quite a while to figure out how I wanted to pose it. So I took a picture from the Superman 2 movie and I kind of just posed him in that. But his head doesn't turn very well. Uh, he doesn't look down very well. Not a lot of, uh, of movement. So I'll just show you really quick. So Christopher Reeve's head, however, you know, he can look up. He can tilt his head. If I can get it to... Well, maybe I won't be able to get it. Yeah, so you can tilt his head different directions. He can look down. Um, just a lot more posability and, and Terrence Stamp here. It's more robotic. He can look kind of down with his neck and he can look straight to the side, but not uh, not a lot of um, movement in the other pose. So, and, and the costume just isn't as good either. Like you can see his boots, they look very cheap. Um, and if I bend his knees at all, you can't even, you can't even tell that his knees bent. Um, one thing that drives me nuts about this figure, but you know, it's, it is what it is because it's cheaper is this, this kind of thigh gap that he's got here. It just looks kind of funny. Um, but I, I really wanted to have that part of the collection since, um, you know, I, I love the Christopher Reeve movies. That's kind of how I got, uh, into superheroes is when I was a kid it was the Christopher Reeve movies. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the difference in pieces. So just really quick, this is a hot toy. Again, we sh I showed you another hot toy with the um, Man of Steel, a Batman v Superman version hot toy, and I also sh and this is a Mattel a Mattel version of of a one six scale figure, uh, just not as much detail as a hot toy, and obviously considerably less price. Okay, so um, this is uh, my second video, and I just wanted to show you guys kind of the difference in collectibles so if you're looking to get into this kind of thing um, that is the difference now I, I've shown you all DC because that's primarily what I collect but the truth is is you can find very very similar figures in Marvel as well Star Wars um, you know just whatever you want to collect they, they make a version of what I'm talking about just about in every case so um, this is uh, the beginning to collecting. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments uh, down below. I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, if you want to know where I get a lot of this stuff, I get it all over the place. You can certainly um, give me a uh, shout out and I'll, I'll put some links in there. And then you can go check out the different websites and whatnot. Um, but uh, this is starting our collection uh, 101 basics uh, the difference between low-end figures and high-end figures and I hope uh, I hope you guys appreciate it and, and learn something and uh, I'll try to keep this information coming and uh, stay tuned because I'm going to do my very first hot toy review here in the next couple weeks um, I have both Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman coming from Suicide Squad and the, and Batman v Superman Wonder Woman. Uh, I'm super excited. It'll be the first time since I've been on YouTube that uh, I'll be able to review these characters straight out of the box. And um, I hope you guys will enjoy those. But I'm super excited because uh, I've been waiting for these two figures for over a year. And if you're asking yourself, a year? Are you kidding? That's how collectors get is when when these figures come out uh, we will wait years uh, to get our hands on them and I will illustrate that to you in just a couple days thanks for uh, tuning in and have a wonderful day